this little rock has made a home for other little rocks. I've been reminded recently that the wettest, most miserable days can bring about the most stunning sunsets. There's no way I could capture on camera just how much the sky glowed that night. The last couple of weeks I've been exploring Argyll and Butte, though I still haven't made it to Butte, but I'm sure I'll be back over that way as it's beautiful and I found some excellent park up spots. I walked up here thinking, doesn't this look strokeable? So, of course, what else would I do? Hmm, <laughs> it feels cool. I passed through Arokar which is somewhere where I spent a few days about 10 years ago when I came through on my first solo Scotland trip, camping out of my little Ford car, Bubbles. It had been raining heavily for a while and I spent a couple of nights hiding out in a hotel looking at this view, but somewhat darker and wetter before continuing my journey north. Yes, I did camp out of a tiny car and then a Clio, so my first Blingo was quite an upgrade for me. I managed to pop into two different National Trust places in one week, which already means I've made more use of my membership this year than I did in 2020. My membership was a Christmas present from my parents, and it's one of the best things you can buy someone that's living in a van who really doesn't need more stuff to clutter out the space. After a couple of days of intermittent sun and rain, the weather got steadily more windy and wet. I had one sunny day when I got down to Campbelltown, but it was still incredibly windy, so I didn't make it onto or into the sea, which I kind of hoped to do whilst down there. There's some beautiful beaches along the coastline. So I've just been doing my laundry at this spot in Campbelltown. It's very affordable, the washers and dryers are great, there's lots of space inside, everything's super clean, and there's somewhere to park and a sea view. Can't really go wrong. Campbelltown is only 83 miles west of Glasgow by sea, but the drive round is considerably further. It's lucky there's lots of beautiful spots along the way. resorted to taking my paddleboard cover off because last night it was so windy that it drove me insane and I barely slept. So now my board is looking cool. The sunset. very uneven surface that I feel like I'm falling over on but um it is May I have a hat on and a jumper and a coat it's been very very windy I've had a hat on most of the day the wind has died down a little bit and I'm just checking out a sunset last night's was probably the most stunning 
I've seen in a long time. I'm not sure I'm going to say if ever, but certainly up there in the top sunsets that I've seen. And uh, tonight there's less clouds, so I'm not sure that it's going to be quite as dramatic, but I have got a view over the water, which is amazing. And Silver is just up the hill from where I am standing. So Silver is just hiding behind there. Uh, not really up a hill, but up some rocks from the beach. And this is what the sky is currently looking like. I'm kind of glad the wind has died down a little bit. And there's a couple of islands over there. One of them is Jura. I think that one is Jura. I did see a little bit of Northern Ireland, I think, today, which is always a bit weird. But kind of cool. One of my new subscribers that watched my van tour asked about how this works. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of a how-to. So these are usually marketed as something for dogs so that you can keep your boot open slightly to get air in for like a dog or an animal inside a car. Um, I use it for me. <laughs> so I think this is the six inch one. There's a little bit where you can screw so you can basically loosen or tighten this. Um, and I will show you just how it works. So it's quite simple. You generally have a latch like this at the bottom of your boot and this just goes on if you've loosened it enough. It's only when you try and film things with the camera in one hand that you realise how much stuff you need two hands for. So once you've loosened it a bit this goes on like that and then you can screw it if you know which way tighter you can screw this up to make it a little bit tighter so that defines how big a gap you have once it's open so I don't usually like it open too much if I'm using this so I tend to screw it right up and then this next bit I probably need two hands for So what do you do on a rainy, miserable day, except for find a beach where there's no one around, put on your wetty boots and play with your waterproof camera? Super spotty. So cool. So I hadn't realised quite how much uh, heavier the rain had got while I was playing on the beach and what I was trying to say in the last clip that you probably won't be able to hear any of was that uh, my leggings had got soaked and I, when I stood up from doing some filming down at the water I felt the water like dripping down my legs into my welly boots so um, I have just changed clothes I'm very glad that this is my home and therefore I always have everything I need but I think I'm going to have to get driving to dry things off and the rain is definitely heavier and I'm now all steamed up because I've come in with a wet coat and obviously a wet me too. <laughs> 
steamy. It took two nights of hanging my trousers out to dry them off properly. So I've made a little friend. I've just had a shower by a lock. I made a little friend who now won't let me go. My wet hair is dripping on my phone as I'm filming this. Oh, and I'm about to drop my phone. Oh no! But yeah, just won't leave. Come on. Come on. Oh. No, don't call further on to me. Okay, I need two hands, I think, to get rid of you. I'll find you a new home. After a day of intermittent sun, rain, and even some hail, I was rewarded with another beautiful sunset. The next evening, I met some very friendly Highland Coos on my way to finding a spot for the night. I didn't get a video of them as I was too busy taking these photos. This last coup really didn't want to move even when Silver was trying to get down the road. I had someone recently ask me what I make for dinner or what's my go-to meal and I couldn't think what I usually make because it had been raining for a couple of days and I make all sorts of weird things when it's raining. I just kind of make do, or when it's not that cold, I just have cold food. Uh, so tonight it's gorgeous weather and I thought I'd show you the kind of thing I do make. So this is tonight's stir fry with a view.